Hi, Steve Dog here. Welcome to the show. Standing in for Monty, Don, again this week. Let's see what we have got on tonight's show. Thankfully this week again, Monty Dog is back. That's great to see. Um, got a lot of fans from last week, of course. We've also got a couple of um, special guests this week. We've got Dave the Shrub. And also, um, you'll see later on that Titch Marshmallow, our guest presenter, will be hosting the first episode of Cutting Corners. So we can we'll see all that later. Something great to look forward to. So just don't go anywhere. Sit back and enjoy tonight's episode of Gardener's World. <laughs> Sometimes when we're in the garden doing a bit of weeding, we go a little bit overboard, don't we? We've all done it. We all make, like to make our gardens look great. But at this time of year, early spring, we need to be mindful of the garden's little visitors. Yes, I'm talking about the birds. So we could go around and pick up things like common dandelion at the moment, but these will seed shortly and that will provide valued substance for birds, etc. What we can do, however, is we can pull out things like these, which are called brambles. And they're easy to come out. And they're easy to come out. You want to pull them out by the roots, really, rather than just doing like I did. But I'm just trying to show you what you could kind of do. And they come out really easily as well. Come on, yeah. So you want to pull them out, you want to pull them out as far as you can, dig them out really so that they don't come back again. We're going to go to Monty, and we're going to see what's happening over by the pond. So, don't go anywhere. See you there. Thanks Steve Dog. Now, as many of you are aware, you can say that more easily than I just said it. Um, the pond has been in shutdown basically for a little while now. And it's time to come out and just have a look and see what's going on. And as you can see, the water mint is starting to, to come back into um, foliage, as I call it. And um, it's looking very, very good at the moment. Let's have a bit of a closer look, shall we? <coughs> Yeah, let's just have a quick look at that water mint, shall we? Water mint, water minteus there. Um, that guy was a um, was a comedian with a fellow called Jack Lemon. Okay, Walter Mateus. Um, here we've got this unsightly duckweed growing in here. Now this was brought in last year. As you can see, look at that, look, it grows vivaciously. It grows very vivaciously. And we don't like it growing vivaciously, do we? So we need to pull all of that out if we can, because if it gets vivacious, then you could even say that it gets almost too vivacious for us. So we're just gonna pull that out. So as you can see, I think you'll agree that now looks considerably better. Let's now over to Dave the Shrub for some kind words of wisdom. Dave the Shrub, over to you. Thanks Monty. Now over to Titch in Cutting Corners. Dave, um, great words, great words. Um, yeah, hi. 
Welcome to Cutting Corners, and this is, um, my name is Alan, um, sorry, Titch. My friends call me Alan, my name is Titch Marshmallow, and um, today I'm going to explain to you all about cuttings, because we're all in lockdown at the moment and we can't go out and buy seeds, or we shouldn't, because it's non-essential, isn't that right, folks? We shouldn't go out for non-essential reasons, so what are you going to need? You're going to need these, and you're going to need something that you're going to have to cut in. So we're doing cuttings in this corner. That's why I've called it Cutting Corners. This is what I did yesterday. Let me just show you this. The bloom of the Yelangai Langaeus is beautiful at this time of year. But as you can see, you've got to keep on top of things in the garden and, and it's getting in the way of our Syringa a vulgaris sensation, that's right, which is there just starting to come into bud. Do you see that? Look at that beautiful, beautiful buds just coming through. But this guy here, he's just getting a little bit over enthusiastic. So what we need to do is cut him back. So what we're going to do is first we're going to cut him back and then Titch, that's me, is going to show you how to make a cutting. First of all, we need to bring this one back. Um, so that it doesn't grow that away. Okay, so I'm going to go in here and find a suitable place to cut it. So I'm going to go in just in there and cut it there. And what you really need, folks, is really sharp, decent secateurs for this job. Not tosh ones like I've got. Right, now that there one again is coming across a little bit. Don't like this one coming out here. I want this to look just about right, you know? I don't want it to look just about wrong. I want it to look just about right. So there, cut in there. Now we're starting to perform body and structure to our plant. As you can see, that's leveled it up. And it looks now a hell of a lot nicer. It looks happier as well. So here we are back in cutting corners, the cutting corner. These are cuttings we just took. And what we need to do here is first of all, I need to explain to you how this all works. So what we've got here, let me just take this off. What we need to do, just to show you how a cutting works, how a plant works. There we have a twig. It's not just a twig, it's, it's a twig that we just took a moment ago. What we need to do is we need to cut, when we produce our cutting, close to the bottom of the twig because, just see like that, very close to the bottom of the twig because, and then we can take those bits off there, okay, because what we've got there is, wherever there's a join, that's where the plant will try and encourage root growth, okay, so you need to cut relatively close, so you don't get rotting beneath that, but you encourage root growth. There, there, and there. As you can see, I've cut that one. I need to go a bit closer to that one, though, don't I? So, simple as that. Simple as that. What I do want is that one to be a bit further from the top there, though. Don't know why, but I think I do. No, I'll leave it as it is. Fine. That is now going to be put in. I've got a multi-compound, I don't like to use multi-purpose compost, okay? So that now will go in there. So deep, just like that. Other colored pots are available. Back to Steve Dog. Wow, I think you'll agree that was quite remarkable. And many thanks there to Titch for hosting our first edition of Cutting Corners. Um, also, I'd like to say a big thank you to Dave the Shrub for his input today, quite valuable. And also, a big thank you to uh, Monty Dog as well. So, let's just have a very quick look around the garden, just see what's happening out there today. Just see how the garden is now flourishing after we've tended for it for these last few weeks. So just, it's time to have some views around the garden. think you will agree there's great 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 
views around the garden. Um, Monty, Don, we'll be back at Long Meadow next time as well. And we'll see you next time. Gardener's World.